Hi, I'm Darren Terpstra with the University of Minnesota Libraries Archives and Special Collections, and I'm excited to welcome you to our latest exhibit, The Misadventures of Sherlock Holmes. Here to tell you more is the curator, Tim Johnson. So The Misadventures of Sherlock Holmes is an exhibit that we designed in conjunction with our triennial conference, a conference we do every three years, but it's also a standalone adventure uh, where people can come and see uh, treasures from the Sherlock Holmes collection. The exhibit focuses on parodies and pastiches inspired by the 1944 book The Misadventures of Sherlock Holmes edited by Ellery Queen. In the course of wandering through the misadventures, we wanted to also focus on other kinds of parodies and pastiches that have appeared in different media over time. So not only in the books and the papers, but also in film and television, and especially the newer fandom. We have a beautiful bust of Sherlock Holmes done by an artist who also created some of the props for the early Star Trek adventures. Um, the Beaton's Christmas Annual, the very first time a Sherlock Holmes story appeared in print. Uh, we have not one, but two of those original Beatons on display. We have the unique Hamlet written by Vincent Sterrett, uh, a very rare item with a beautiful inscription to his wife. So some amazing things to see as you wander room by room through the misadventures of Sherlock Holmes. When sitting down with the curator to talk about how we were going to design this exhibit, um, one of the things that came up was how can we make something that's kind of like a fun house? Uh, because it is the misadventures of Sherlock Holmes. But then on the other hand, with Sherlock Holmes, there's always a mystery. So how can we blend these ideas? So we came up with this idea of using curtains to sort of section off the gallery. Instead of being a wide open space, now it's a little more closed in with, with corners, nooks, crannies, rooms that you can explore. But you never get to see what's coming next. So you have to keep being led through by your own curiosity and the mystery that is inherently part of the Sherlock Holmes story. Why should somebody come to this exhibit? You should come because there are just some amazing things here to see. Your understanding of who Sherlock Holmes is, this will paint, I think, a very nice picture uh, of how Holmes has evolved over time and how people have explored the character. If you've never thought of Sherlock Holmes and art linked together, this is a great exhibit to visit because of the artwork that we've got on display. What better place to study popular culture and that kind of iconography than at a, the University of Minnesota? It's important because it also allows uh, an insight into Victorian and Edwardian England. Um, and so for our scholars, our students who are engaged not only in popular culture studies, but Victorian studies, this is a collection that provides a wealth of material. There are all kinds of reasons to see the exhibit and I hope you'll come and enjoy it.